Welcome back. Did you know you can train like an astronaut through Houston's very own Space Center University? This is so cool. It's a place where both kids and adults can be inspired by the wonders of space exploration. Well, from robotics to thermal protection systems, even scuba diving, Stephanie Gonzalez is showing us what it's like to train like an astronaut. If you've ever wondered what it takes to be an astronaut, today we're showing you how. Space Center Houston is a leading science and space exploration learning center, as well as the official visitor center of NASA Johnson Space Center. Students and educators come here from around the world to be part of their huge education programs. This is a five-day engineering design program, and we really want the students to look at problem solving, overcoming obstacles, working with the team, collaboration and communication, and accomplishing their mission. And get this, you can train like an astronaut through their Space Center University program. And I have signed up. You're going to be doing a spacewalk, a simulated spacewalk <laughs> using scuba gear. And so you'll be putting together a mock airlock and uh, going out to an asteroid and recovering samples and bringing them back with your team. It's now time to join my new friends who flew in from China just to train like an astronaut. First up, we get to perform a thermal heat test. Three, two, one, go! Oh. <laughs> We're staying actually pretty stable at 29.9 degrees. Right now, students are working to protect their astronaut. This is a great opportunity for the students to get to explore how thermal dynamics work. So the heating effect that might happen on a shuttle capsule or inside of their suit from daylight changes, uh, from rotating on uh, the ISS. That extreme heat difference from shadow to sunlight is uh, one of the ways that we test here with different materials that we have. And the egg represents the astronaut. Yes, or so the extra astronaut. Yes. <laughs> and how does the temperature work? What do you start off with and what's the ideal temperature? So the ideal temperature that you would want to reach is hopefully no more than a one degree difference. Uh -huh. That way the cooling suit that astronauts might have on or a capsule that they have can regulate itself properly. Kids really love it. It's something that they enjoy doing and then they, as you can see, they were getting loud excited, very mad excited. So it's only fair for me to attempt to create my own thermal heat shield, right? Here we have quilt batting, um, we have insulation, uh, wax paper, cork board, mm -hmm. some steel wool, plastic screen, plastic sheeting, so mm -hmm. they can have four materials of steel wool, they can have four individual slices of wire screen, whatever works mm -hmm. best. So what should I use? <laughs> okay. Over the years we found that uh, the density of the material really helps. Okay. Uh, so we have the cork board. If you sandwich two pieces of cork board and in between use two pieces of uh, quilt batting okay. and actually sandwich them together, it seems to work out the best. That's it? That's it. And then we give them a maximum amount of tape. All right. Perfect. Perfect. And now the moment of truth. Will I be able to protect my astronaut? Two. One. Go. Two minutes. Two minutes on the clock. All right. So now you see you're starting to see the smoke, smoke. come through. Oh wow. I'm ready to be an astronaut. So there you go. And your egg. Oh. It's still cold. I did it. My astronaut is safe and sound. Now let's chat with my new friends who are visiting all the way from China just to train like an astronaut. This is really exciting because it's my first time in NASA. I have came to America before, but I never came to Houston. And it is actually a little bit surprising because I thought NASA was just a place for uh, astronauts, but it's actually consists of all many other jobs like engineers. My favorite part is uh, building a rocket with my teammates. Mm -hmm. And we just chose all the items we need and did, did the budget and just let the rocket fly. So something that we just learned is that astronauts dive into the water to perform a spacewalk and we're about to go try it out. Come on. Up next, the moment I've personally been waiting for, training like an astronaut by diving underwater. Yep, I'm talking about scuba diving. Astronauts go underwater to practice spacewalks. 
this simulates conditions very close to the weightlessness of space. Your body works very differently underwater. Heavy objects move with ease and your body feels light and tends to drift and float. This is similar to how it feels to be in the microgravity of space. Astronauts may spend up to seven hours a time underwater. And although astronaut candidates may have their college degrees, school is just beginning for them when they are selected. A team of divers who work with the astronauts were there to help us out, so I felt pretty safe. Also, we had to work underwater as a team by building things. I loved every second of it. Training like an astronaut at Space Center University is something that I recommend to everyone who wants to get a glimpse of what it's like to be an astronaut. Such a cool assignment. If you'd like to sign up to train like an astronaut, just visit spacecenter.org.